guys welcome back to my channel it's just Shania here and as you can tell a few things have changed since I last actually sat down and spoken to you guys what has changed oh I brought my big hair back I'm so happy I missed it so much she's back and she is making an appearance and I'm loving it today I just wanted to do a funny video something fun and something where I'm kind of just being myself so I'm gonna do a 99 questions nobody ever asked tag and I got this idea from Another YouTuber, I'm not sure of her name, but I'll leave her link in the bio. I really thought it was interesting, and I was like, holy crap, let me just answer these questions for the camera. So if this is a long video, I'm sorry, but let, you know, know me. <laughs> okay, so let's just do this, because I don't want this to be any longer than it should be. Okay, so the first question is, and as I have it here on my phone, do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? Um, one of my closets is in my room, and it's, sometimes it's kind of slightly cracked. But most of the time it's closed uh, do you take the shampoos and conditioner bottle from hotels I have because emergencies you pack it for like when you're road tripping so you might need it you never know you I don't know things happen so I just take anything that's sample size I'm kind of obsessed do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out how do you I guess tucked in cuz I tuck it under my shoulders and stuff and I like wrap myself in it but but the sheet I'm sleeping on is tucked out. That doesn't make sense. You can't sleep with it tucked in or tucked out. Somebody didn't think that one through that well because that doesn't make sense. Have you ever stolen a street sign before? No. How the f are you gonna steal a street sign? It's welded. What? I you know what? Do you like to use post-its? I love using post-its. Those things are amazing. Do you cut out coupons but then never use them? I never cut out coupons. They, there's no need to cut them out anymore. It's 2016. Honestly, truly, deeply, madly, really, no. Uh, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? A bear? Are you kidding me? If I was to be attacked by a swarm of bees, I think I'll just die. Like they sting. A bear, I, I, think, I, I, think, I, could, I think I could really talk to a bear. I feel like me and that bear would go from, you know what, square up, you know, to like, I love you. That's, that's just my theory. I love a bear. I'll kill some bees. Do you have freckles? No. I don't, no, I don't have freckles. I, I don't have freckles. Um, do you always smile for pictures? I like smiling for pictures, but my smiles are more like, like, all right, sometimes I do that. Listen, those are my smiles. So I guess smirk, I smirk for photos, okay. Um, do you ever count your steps when you walk? Yes, sometimes. I just have to be really bored. And then I also wanna know, I'm also always curious about how many steps it takes me to get to a certain destination, especially if I go to that destination every day, like work, from the train to work, sometimes I count my steps, but I always just give up sometimes. What is your biggest pet peeve? The door being open. The door being open. That's my number one pet peeve, I cannot stand it when my door is open it has to be closed at all times there's no reason for it to be open i don't like when i don't like seeing people walk past whatever room i'm in the door has to be closed and that's just that um that's my biggest i actually have two my second biggest is when here's the scenario oh my gosh my head hurts i don't know why why i just said i don't know why oh i don't know why i asked that if i said something and then I said, I don't know why. I already answered your question, but you're going to know. No, you're going to go ahead and ask it again. So that is my second pet peeve. I hate the word why when I already said, I don't know why. Previous, you know, that that whole scenario, that anytime that happens, I look at them, I'm just like, you piss me off. And then they'll go and leave the door open. And those two things will make me just kill them. Uh, have you ever peed in the woods? I, I don't live any, near any woods. Um, I have no use in peeing in the woods. There's there's no woods here. Sorry, I live in New York. Have you ever pooped in the woods? If I didn't pee in the woods, I wouldn't poop in the woods. So there's your answer. Do you ever dance even if there's no music playing? Oh my gosh, yes. I will at work and I'll be doing the merengue and I will dun 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 dun. dun, dun. And then sometimes like when I'm at work, I start twerking and I'm like. Mm. I'm twerking my seat right now. I always dance when there's no music. 
Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I was really thinking about if I was telling the truth, but I am. I'm not lying, guys. <laughs> do you chew your pens or pencils? No, that's disgusting. That's so many ill. No. How many people have you slept with this week? Cero. Cero. That's Spanish for zero. <laughs> um, what size is your bed? I don't think I want to say it. It's kind of embarrassing. I have a twin. That's it. I just have a twin. Don't ask no more questions. What is your song of the week? My song of the week. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. I don't have a song of the week. There's not a new song that I'm, that I'm in love with or that I'm singing more. No, they're really, mm. 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 Mm -mm. Nope, I don't have a song of the week. Uh, the, uh, uh, no, I really don't have one, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, pass. Is it okay for guys to wear pink? Of course it's okay for guys to wear pink, I love it. Um, do you still watch cartoons all the time? I do watch cartoons. I actually freaking love cartoons. I go to the movies to see cartoon movies for me. Like, even if my little brother's not here, I do it for me. It, it, it warms my heart. I like, I feel like a kid again, and I don't mind. What's your least favorite movie? My least favorite movie? I don't know. Anything that had to do with war. I'm not a big war movie fan. There's maybe only one war movie I really liked and that was um, American Sniper. And that was it because it was his story, not necessarily war. I don't really like war movies. I could pass on a war movie in two seconds. Yeah, I could pass on a war movie. Anything that has to do with war is my least favorite movie. But I love movies, so I can't necessarily say that there's another movie and this highlight is everything. That's how much I don't care about war movies because I get distracted by my highlights. Hello. Where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? If I had hid hidden treasure, I'd bury it in my shoes. Why? Because some things could get lost in my shoes. <laughs> Not in like one of my shoes, but in my shoe because I keep all the boxes like in my shoe boxes I'll just make you know put it in the shoe box and put it in there because then I most likely forget that it's there when I really want it which is when I clean my shoes or something like clean out my shoe stuff then I'll find it nothing could happen if it's with my shoes if not my shoes and my clothes one or the other one of those places has to, has to be the best hiding place ever there's no better hiding place than my shoes or clothes I mean but if I was to make sense then I would probably put it underneath a boardwalk, the boardwalk that I usually pass going to the beach at nighttime. I'd probably bury it there. What do you drink with dinner? Water. I don't drink juice. I don't drink soda. Uh, there's maybe one thing I like, but it's just a syrup that you mix with water. <laughs> but I love water and I love wine. So if it doesn't start with a W, I probably won't drink it that often. What do you dip a chicken nugget in? Ranch, ranch. You can't dip it in anything else but ranch. What is your favorite food? Fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, collard greens. Anything that starts with soul and ends with food is my favorite food. I love soul food and avocados and spinach and soul food. All soul food is my favorite food. If you wanna, you know, find a way to my heart the soul food. Movies could you watch over and over again and still love? The Great Gatsby. That's my number one favorite movie. It makes my heart stop. It makes my belly run. It <laughs> <laughs> the Great Gatsby is an amazing movie. I, I mean, I got a quote from the movie tattooed on me. It was an amazing book I heard, but I don't want to read the book because then everybody says I'm no longer going to like the movie if I read the book and I want to forever love that movie. So Great Gatsby, number one movie in my heart. Last person you kiss slash kissed you. That is nobody's business. Thank you. Um, if I was to answer that question, I would say my dog, Gizmo, because he loves his mama and I loves my baby, Gizmo. Were you ever a boy slash girl scout? No, I was never a girl scout. I don't think it was ever offered here in Queens. I don't think that's even a thing. Like, really a thing. You have to go to one of those neighborhoods to kind of find it. It's not It's not a thing. It's not. It was never offered. Would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? If it was very classy. So, 
I would never like black china it and you know, no, I'm sorry, I would never do that. But if it was something that's very elegant and you know, beautiful, uh, like something that Taraji P. Henty, Taraji P. Henson would do, something around those lines where it's still very classy and you still look very respectable but just look like you're embracing your body. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? If cards don't count, then like young grades, like when I was younger. I mean, I write, you know, nice things in cards. So if that doesn't, if that counts, then you know, my mom's birthday, but if that doesn't count, then when I was like a kid, like a kid, when paper and pens meant something to the world. <laughs> Can you change the oil on a car? Not even if I thought I could, I couldn't. Like if I sat there and I'm like, I know how to do this, I still wouldn't know how to do it. Ever gotten a speeding ticket? Never gotten a ticket in my life, yay, yay. Ever ran out of gas? No. I mean, I'm, I've been low on gas, but then what do you do when you're low on gas? You go to a gas station. But I don't think I've ever been to the point where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna not fill up my gas tank so that I'll be low on gas and break down in the middle of the road. I just think that's so stupid. The only way that could happen is if you're actually kind of dumb. Or, I mean, if you're in the middle of nowhere and there's no gas stations, but to me, that, just, that doesn't happen in life. Favorite kind of sandwich? Yes, I say sandwich. I can't say sandwich. It doesn't come out right. Sandwich. My favorite type of sandwich is a chicken salad sandwich. A chicken Waldorf sandwich. It's chicken salad with apples, um, great cranberries, uh, pecans, I think they are. It's an amazing sandwich and I love it. If not that, then I like um, uh, cordon bleu sandwiches. They're good too. Hmm. Hmm. Best thing to eat for breakfast. I don't really like breakfast, but it would be watermelon, pineapple, and avocados. That's my breakfast. Like, I love that for breakfast. Pineapple, watermelon, avocado. Avocado toast, ooh, with pepper and, ooh, I'm hungry. I didn't eat, I, I just came home, and I just sat down, and I was like, I'm gonna record, because I have 99 questions to answer, and I'll eat when I'm done. The food's still hot, so. What is your usual bedtime? I go to bed at nine, but I go to sleep at 12, one. So you figure that out because it never made sense to me. Are you lazy? I'm lazy as hell. For a lazy person, I do a lot. Like I do a lot for a lazy person. I am like Speedy Gonzalez. I'm, but I, if I had a choice, Bro, I'll be in bed watching movies all day with wine. You can't tell me nothing. You cannot tell me anything because I am lazy. I do too much to be this lazy. When you were a kid, what did you dress up as for Halloween? Everything. I was a cat. I was my mom. I was, I was everything. When I was a kid, you dress up as whatever you can dress up as. Like this is so very vague. I hate these vague ass questions. I'm done. What is your Chinese ast astrological sign? I think I'm the year of the rat. I think I'm the year of the rat. <laughs> How many languages can you speak? I can speak Jamaican, I can speak Patois, but I could curse you out in Haitian, French, Creole. Well, let's say the Creole, French, similar, uh, Jamaican, uh, Chinese, uh, Spanish. Uh, I mean, I guess if Canadian's a language, that. Uh, if English, like British English, a language, then that too. I'll just put a dialect or accent on it and then I speak it. Do you have any magazine subscriptions? I'm not subscribed to anything, but I get all the magazines. Like, I don't understand how they have my address. I don't subscribe, but I'm a magazine hoarder, actually. I have over like 200 copies, of, like 200 magazines or more. I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? Don't judge me. I love having them. I, I actually have gone through all of them and I just leave them there because I just like them together. I feel like throwing it away is just not fair magazines right people treat them right which are better Legos or Lincoln logs I don't even know what that I don't know what Lincoln logs are so Legos you stubborn I'm hella stubborn ask anyone who knows me you'll I, I don't know what's wrong with me I don't mean to be stubborn but 
you're gonna understand what the hell I'm saying. And if that comes up as stubborn, I'm stubborn. But I'm just naturally stubborn. I don't mean to be. I really, I genuinely don't mean to be stubborn. I just don't want to listen to what people are saying and have that be what it is. I have to say my opinion too. Who is better, Leno or Letterman? I don't give a crap about neither one. So how about Leo, Nardo, DiCaprio? Oh! Ever watch soap operas? Only my grandma watches it because she watches them a lot. So I guess so, but I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know who Jenny is and I don't know why Peter shot John. Are you afraid of heights? I'm not afraid of them, but I do get very uh, like anxious and my anxiety goes up and I get, you know, very a little frightened, but I'm not scared. Like I'll go on a roller coaster. I really don't care. But I sure as hell will scream when I'm going down. Do you sing in the car? I throw down in the car. Oh my gosh, that's the one place besides the shower where I'm truly Beyonce. I swear to God, you think I'm joking? In the car, I'm a rapper. I be going in. I be like, hey, what's up? Hello. See, she do you sing in the shower? Like I just said, the shower, the shower, I do everything in the shower. I act in the shower, I sing in the shower, I dance in the shower, I cry in the shower. That shower is my homie. The shower, the bath, the entire bathroom is my homie. I could do everything and feel comfortable in there. There in the car. Do I dance in the car? I dance in the car. I, that's my duck. <laughs> ever used a gun. The only time I used a gun was at the shooting range, so it was legal and I didn't hurt anyone. That's the only time I used a gun. Last time you got a portrait taken by a photographer. Um, I haven't had that in a few months. Um, I usually just take my own photos now since I have my camera, my backdrop, and a self timer. But I should get it done because I do need some new headshots. Cause the do you think musicals are cheesy no i think musicals are amazing i actually love this one musical it's called rent it's actually very old but it's been my favorite for for a very long time and no musicals are not cheesy i don't see why they would ever be cheesy it's called hella talent how about that okay we're halfway through guys we're more than halfway is christmas stressful yeah because you have to worry about who you're getting gifts what gifts you're getting them you know how much are they worth I don't know. When you're not filthy, stinking rich, and you can't just buy everyone anything that you think that they deserve, you have to really get creative. And it's so stressful. To me, it's stressful. Stressful as ugh. Ever eat a pierogi? I, I don't know what it is, so I most likely didn't eat it. Favorite type of fruit pie? Is sweet potatoes considered fruit? Then sweet potato pie? Uh, peach cobbler? Pineapple, coconut pie, coconut, yep, got it, coconut pie. I like coconut pie. Occupation, do you want it to be when you're a kid? Well, let's start. Journalist, actress, don't want to be an actress. Journalist, um, so I can think of, an actress. And that's so I want to be an actress. So, yeah. I kind of like to do all my options as a kid, you know? <laughs> do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I believe in ghosts, and I feel like I have a few of them, and they're all my friends, and we all hang out and smoke weed and drink wine together. Yuck. Ever have deja vu feeling all the time? I actually think mine is a little more than deja vu. A little different, because when people describe their deja vu, it's not the same as my deja vu. So, yeah, we won't get into that. Take a vitamin daily. Buy a tent. Wear slippers. Sometimes in the winter. If it's really cold. Yeah. Wear a bathrobe. I do when I don't feel like wearing clothes when I get out the bath. Everyone does this stuff. I don't get why it's such a question. What do you wear to bed? A big t-shirt and that's it. Sometimes I wear uh, pajama pants or basketball shorts, but that's about it. But usually a big t-shirt. First concert. My first concert was the Rihanna concert. It was a very old one. Terrible seats, but it was a concert nonetheless. And I had fun and I was so excited because it was my first concert. Yay. Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Walmart. Nike or Adidas? Adidas. Nike? Adidas. Adidas. Nike. 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 That's my final answer. Buzz. Hmm. Buzz, 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 buzz. Nike. Um, Cheetos or Fritos? Cheetos, hello. Peanuts or sunflower seeds? Peanuts. Ever hear of a group 
trust being no I, I don't know what trust trust three being good three good no I don't know who three good is sorry never take dance lessons yes I took ballet when I was younger and it was hell <laughs> is there a profession you picture your future spouse doing I picture my future spouse either being an actress as well or I definitely do like surgeons and I also just like people who are businessmen I see it don't I you, doesn't he look beautiful? I think so. Can you curl your tongue? I could do like the three leaf clover though. Uh, uh. But curl it? No. Ever won a spelling bee? No. But I'm great at spelling. But no, I have not. Have you ever cried because you were happy? I cry for like everything. I'm a baby. Have you not seen my try not to cry challenge video? I'll leave it in the description box. But I cry for everything. I'm a big baby. I hate it. Own any record albums? I do. I actually have a record player and I own record albums. I love that question. I really freaking hate that question. It's the dumbest video I've ever made. Ever been in love? What the hell is that? Own a record player. Yes. Regularly burn incense. I used to burn candles a lot. I mean, does that count? Burning candles? No, I don't burn incense. I actually hate the smell of incense, but I love the smell of candles. Who would you like to see in concert? I would like to see J. Cole in concert. That's my number one goal before, like, the, the I die. To see J. Cole in concert. To meet J. Cole. To maybe even take J. Cole from his wife. What was the last concert you saw the weekend? It's the only con- No, I'm lying. It was me. I it was Queen V. Yes, I went to her concert. That was the last concert I saw and she killed it and I don't think I ever want to see another concert again because I no longer have a soul because it's now hers. Hot tea or cold tea? Cold tea. I hate hot things. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Iced. Sugar or snickerdoodles? Sh snickerdoodles. Snickerdoodles. <laughs> Sugar. Can you swim well? I'm a handicapped swimmer, so I swim holding with one hand holding my nose and the other hand paddling. So, I think I swim pretty well. If you ask me for a handicapped swimmer, I get pretty far. Can you hold your breath without holding your nose? No. Are you patient? I'm very impatient. I'm a very snap, snap, snap person. I need to be A to B. I need things to be done right now, right here, when I say they're ready. Um, yeah, I'm not patient at all. Uh, I try to be a half patient when it comes to certain things. But in general, I really do just want the world to be in fast forward. DJ or band at a wedding? DJ, what? DJ, what? DJ, band at the wedding where you're coming down the altar DJ at the reception holla ever won a contest not that I can remember ever have plastic surgery no which are better black or green olives I don't like olives so let's let's start there can you knit or crochet I know how to knit but do I know how to knit well no uh, best room for a fireplace living room do you want to get married someday if married, how long have you been married? I'm not married. Who was your high school crush? I hated my high school. Do you cry or throw a fit until you get your own way? No, this child. Do you have kids? No, I don't have kids. Do I want kids? No, I don't want kids. Almost done, two more questions. What is your favorite color? It is green. And do you miss anyone right now? Yes, I do, a lot of people. And I really, really, really do miss them. Boom! Drops my walks off. And that was it. I answered 99 questions that nobody ever asked me before. I'm lying. Some people probably asked me some of those things on that list. But I just answered 99 of them in this one video. So I'm going to cut it, cut it, cut it here. Because this video is probably long enough already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. It's just Shania. Peace out. I know I look like, like Rick James or James Brown or someone right now. But bye.